Here we have a fairly simple slide adder. It's a, a tronce adder, it's called. Uh, it was made by Business, with a, it has a nice logo at the top. Machine à calculer, roule sur bille. It was made in Belgium, in uh, Liège. I don't have the original stylus, uh, but uh, yeah, you simply put the stylus next to the digit you want to add and pull the slider down. When you add the next number, it can so happen that the digit you want to add would um, make uh, would cause a carry. In that case, when you insert the slide, when you insert the stylus you'll see that it's next to uh, these uh, red teeth. That means that uh, you don't slide it down, you can't even put it, pull it all the way down. Instead you have to slide it all the way up and then go around the corner and then pull the next uh, slide one, down one step. So if I add uh, uh, something here, you go like that. Uh, to clear the numbers, you simply pull this uh, bar, and uh, that's it. It's a very simple adder, and there were lots of these around, even back in the 1920s when this was made. But this is a particularly weird one, because it has a, a metal front and back cover, but the sides are made of wood. Uh, Roll sur bill means it rolls on balls, so it, these sliders, they have a ball bearing at each end that they slide on. It, has, uh, it even has this uh, instruction leaflet, and it says that it's the 1927 model, and it was uh, designed by Cyril Alphonse Ancar, and yeah, he set up business in Liège, uh, and uh, yeah, this uh, this machine had also had several uh, uh, accessories that you could uh, it says here accessories that you could uh, order. One of these is this uh, case, but you could also have a, a stand for for using it on a desk. Uh, and there were even versions where this stand would then uh, have a lever on the side that uh, does the clearing instead of this uh, bar. Um, this company, Business, um, they went on to make several other machines and they were increasingly, uh, increasingly ludicrous. Here we have the master. This is also a, a slide adder. And uh, yeah, this one has some extra features. It has a, a, yeah, a crank on the side which would normally clear the, uh, clear the register. You'd have to turn it a few times one way and then back again. Unfortunately, the clearing mechanism on this machine has broken. Uh, this particular version also has these, yeah, these pens here, so you don't need a separate stylus, you can use these pens. So you sh slide this up to the digit you want, push it down, and then slide it down. So, uh, yeah, you can uh, slide it to the digit, pull it, push it in, and then, uh, in this case, uh, slide it up and around the corner and then put it back. It's not very useful uh, having these pins instead of a, a simple s a stylus but uh, at least yeah you could unscrew this just take these two screws out and then you'd have a normal uh, slide adder. Uh, there's even a, a ledge at the front here where you can store the stylus. It has these uh, paper uh, strips at the front. It should have a, a container on the side here, similar to this side. Uh, 
in which you'd have these rolls of paper. Yeah, and you can turn these, uh, this crank or this knob to turn to shift the paper strip along and then tear it off at the end here. Uh, yeah, but this container, it was detachable so that you could refill it and it's, yeah, it's gone missing. This design is really weird as well because it has these two bulges at the top and amazingly there was an electric version of this machine. It would have lights in here, a red and a green light. And the stylus that came with it would be on a, on a wire so that as soon as you put the stylus into the slider one of the lights would uh, light up telling you whether to move upwards or downwards and uh, yeah it, it would still have uh, be completely manual other than that so the clearing mechanism and everything would still be completely manual it's very strange uh, I don't think I've ever seen one of these master machines with these this pen system but uh, yeah it's 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 ludicrous, really. The, uh, yeah, the inventor of all this, this Cyril Alphonse Ancar, he um, also wrote in the 1940s, he wrote and sold and self-published several books, all to do about um, being your own boss, like with titles like A Hundred Different Ways of Being Your Own Boss, and things like that. There were probably uh, dozens of variations on the same text. And uh, yeah, these, these master machines were probably even made until the 1950s. So that was the master and the business slide adder. Thank you for watching.